the man who can do anything. He grows up a regular kid with strict military parents, ends up a millionaire rapper at age 20, doesn't pay taxes because he doesn't want to and is told he owes $2.6 million to the IRS at 24, and then he gets out of it by making the show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which ends up making him $40 million total, is told early on in his career he can't play Superman because he's black, and then ends up as a response to that making the movie Hancock, which made $200 million more than that Superman movie did. Will Smith started out as The Fresh Prince, but he ended up the king of Hollywood. And he was the man who could do anything until... Oh, wow! Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to! The 10 seconds that killed his career. And from the Oscars, over $100 million of work completely lost. And his career ends up getting frozen. Hollywood's king fell, but at the end of the day, people didn't blame Will Smith. Because for the people, the slap wasn't about Will Smith or Chris Rock, it was all about Jada. And how many people believe they have one of the most confused marriages in all of history. Question why Will Smith slapped Chris Rock there becomes a question of if Will Smith has a history with violence. And looking back, the best example would be Will Smith's upbringing. Will Smith was raised by his father, Willard Carroll Smith, who did have a very bad history with Will Smith's mom, and there was a very bad record of domestic abuse. There were two issues. First, he had a brutal temper. And second, his drinking. And Will Smith said at age nine, he witnessed his father punch his mother so hard she collapsed and then later woke up to spit out blood. But despite all this, it never impacted how Will Smith treated other people. Because even though he did enter the world of rap when he was very young, he did keep things very clean in his personal life. And in his 1995 divorce to Sherry Zampino, she denied all claims he was having affairs on her, saying he was a model husband, but the only reason they were getting divorced was simply they were too young. And after the slap, despite media digging and digging and digging, there was no record of violence to be found. Where the best thing they can find was footage from 2012 of Will Smith being kissed by a reporter, pushing him away, and he still kept the situation pretty tame given what was going on. So for decades, there was no evidence of Will Smith having any erratic behavior, which brings up the question of his marriage to Jada Pinkett Smith. And Jada Pinkett Smith in the 90s was this rising actress who met Will Smith while auditioning for Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And in a period of three years, they went from having a friendship to a relationship to a marriage and then eventually children. And in the 2000s, they were seen as the model family and model couple for America. But the issues began to happen in the early 2010s, with headlines saying they split up, rumors of an open marriage, and so much more other stuff going on. I got into a different kind of entanglement. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> and for years, Will and Jada just denied all of it. But then cut to the year 2020 and everything just hits the fan. August Alsina, who was friends with her son Jaden Smith, had strong rumors come out that he slept with Jada. And when the evidence of the affair became clear, Jada and Will Smith get on the Red Table talk show, which was Jada's show on Facebook, and set the internet on fire. You and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided- I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah. Revealing they do have an open marriage and photos of Will Smith crying during the internet go viral, turning him into a meme. Which that interview was basically one moment where Will Smith goes from this king in Hollywood not to be interfered with to just becoming a meme online. And then after that interview went viral, Jada Pinkett Smith had an idea, and that was to turn the Red Table Talk Show, which was this failing show on Facebook, into an hour where she would just talk about her family. Telling the story about how she was angry Will Smith spent over a million dollars on her birthday party saying it was all about him and not about her. Telling stories about how she gave her kids mushrooms so they could bond as a family and get along better. The magic kind, of course. Yeah. Mentioning that after the movie After Earth failed, Jaden Smith wanted emancipation from the family, blaming Will Smith for the movie bombing. And it just created this platform for Jada Pinkett Smith to get attention by taking all privacy from her family off the table. And this was the environment that Will Smith had going for himself where his image with the public changed, and that was what he walked into at the Oscars. And discussing the slap, it should be known that Jada Pinkett Smith and the Oscars do have a weird history. In 2016, Will Smith did fail to get nominated for an Oscar with the movie Concussion. And that was because the movie simply wasn't very good, getting only a 58% on Rotten Tomatoes. And financially, the film was a flop where on a small budget it still lost $15 million. But Jada just didn't see it that way, starting the hashtag Oscars so white, saying her husband wasn't nominated because the Oscars simply weren't diverse enough which did actually start a feud with Will and Jada over the Oscars and their opinion on why he was denied. 
And that was because Will Smith actually disagreed with Oscars So White, pointing out that before King Richard, Will Smith did have two losses at the Oscars already, with the first being in 2002 where he was nominated for the movie Ali but ends up losing to Denzel Washington, and the second was 2007 with Pursuit of Happiness where he lost to Forrest Whitaker, where in both cases Will Smith did lose to black actors. And while he wasn't saying the Oscars couldn't do more to improve diversity, he simply disagreed with his wife that that was the reason he wasn't nominated that year. And that year, Chris Rock hosting the Oscars did have more behind the scenes drama to it than people knew. Where for many years, Chris Rock was friends with the Smith family. But in the mid 2010s, their friendship did run into some bumps where after rumors of divorce, Jada said Chris Rock did ask her out. And going into Oscar night, the pressure was just on Will Smith. Walking in knowing that his movie King Richard was a financial flop losing $30 million. And it was a tough year competition wise, so Will Smith walked in thinking he was going to have his third Oscar defeat. And when Chris Rock did get on stage and make the G.I. Jane joke, Will Smith was initially laughing. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, alright? <laughs> but then he sees the reaction from Jada and sees that she did make a motion very clearly asking him to say something. And like that, game over. Many on TV didn't see it because the censors caught it quickly. But Will Smith just runs up, slaps Chris Rock, and like that becomes the biggest meme in the world. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, wow! And it was just this mind-boggling moment where the entire world was wondering what was going on in Will Smith's head. But the one person that night that made the Oscars better for Will Smith was Chris Rock. With Chris Rock having both the LAPD and the Academy Awards reach out to him instantly after the slap happened. With the Academy simply asking Chris Rock if they wanted Will Smith escorted out of the Oscars. And the LAPD actually offered to have Will Smith arrested and Chris Rock given the chance to press charges. And while the public and other actors in the audience were confused about what just happened, Chris Rock said no to all of it saying he knew Will Smith was going to win the Oscar for Best Actor that year and didn't want to take that moment from him. I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take abuse. You got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. So Will Smith does get to go up, gets his Oscar, and didn't have the speech that he originally planned. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. And leaving the show, both Will and Jada did think they could walk from this situation unscathed, but guess what? It just got a lot worse for them. After the slap for Hollywood, it's really just the story of the fallen prince. The Academy bans Will Smith from all awards for a decade, making Will Smith the first Oscar winner to ever get banned the same week that he won an Oscar. I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, and at the time, there was this bidding war going on between Apple, Netflix, and HBO for the rights to do a Will Smith biopic, where the deal in discussion would have paid Will Smith 50 to $100 million just for the rights to the biopic, regardless of how it does. But once that happens, the whole negotiation is just over. And at the same time, every movie and TV show that he had in pre-production just gets suspended instantly. So the one 10 second slap ended up costing Will Smith 100 to $200 million. But Jada still managed to make money. Because since the slap, Jada Pinkett Smith has still managed to monetize her marriage. Where to do that, she released her book worthy and to try and sell copies, she just let it all out about the marriage. Making the reveal that hit headlines saying they haven't actually been together for seven years. And their marriage is just this sort of weird thing to try and look good to people and they stay together for face value. Which is strange because the marriage itself is a pretty visible humiliation on Will Smith. And trying to sell the book, she adds insult to injury by mentioning her alopecia might be getting better. Which many dermatologists have laughed at that claim saying that's scientifically impossible. But Jada has shown many photos that have gone viral saying her hair is regrowing. But many doctors believe that her hair was never actually that bad and it's regrowing simply because she stopped shaving her head. Anything you want to say, we still want with many believing that the entire alopecia story was just another case of wanting attention. But despite saying all of this to try and sell a book, the public just isn't having it with Jada. But it's okay. 23 years later, Will and I are still a unit. And it's because we have learned that the secret to a successful marriage is never go to bed happy. <laughs> well, Worthy just hasn't sold the numbers it was originally projected to sell despite even Will Smith promoting the book. And Jada having another attempt to try and monetize her marriage this time simply is not working. And that's because people do see a divide between Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith where even though Will Smith is still popular to the public, Jada has become one of the least liked celebrities in the world. But that still brings up the question of what happens to Will Smith?
There's this ongoing question of if Will Smith can recover and if the slap just becomes one incident, one blip in an otherwise prosperous career. And for that, there's a lot of good news, but there's also a lot of bad news at the same time. The good news is I Am Legend. His 2007 movie, which made $585 million on a budget of $150 million, is getting a sequel. And they're actually using the timeline of the alternative ending where his character lives to do the sequel so he will be in it as a main character. Which is starting a new strategy where Will Smith is trying to bring back his popular movie titles from the 2000s. With one example being Hancock, which made $200 million more than Superman Returns, and many people are looking at saying we'll probably get a sequel in the next few years. And there's even the possibility of returning to other successful franchises like Independence Day which does make the case that Will Smith can have a comeback in the 2020s, focusing on his hits in the 2000s and late 90s instead of focusing on his flops in the 2010s. But despite the good news, there's still the slap, and even worse, Jada Pinkett Smith. With the simple reality being that Jada will be in Will Smith's life for the rest of his life even if they get divorced. And Jada simply has no plans to stop using Will Smith and the rest of the family as a public spectacle for her own attention. So while it is very likely that Will Smith the blockbuster actor can return, it's not likely that Will Smith being this figurehead, family man type of guy ever comes back. All of this really from having a marriage that likely should have ended a decade ago but they stayed together feeling the divorce was too embarrassing for them. And there's an issue for Will Smith's legacy where despite having many things to be proud of, many people are still going to just know him as that man with a strange marriage. But with that, I'm Charles Prawler, subscribe if you learned something.